like you're in a precarious spot until you get that win. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you're never safe until you get the win, but uh, you know, all we can do right now is keep stacking points up until we get the win. So uh, days like today, you know, you just get what you can. And, you know, we got some stage points in the first stage, which is great. Um, we got bit by the caution on the cycle there and then lost the second stage points. But we got in the back and kind of worked our way back up there and holding a good call with the two tires. We got ourselves in position to possibly win the race. Just didn't fire off the staff's ability to squirm you in the back. We couldn't hit the gas pedal there for the first 10 15. Once you got past that, I was okay, but I lost all the track position at that point. What are your overall impressions of Iowa and our, our first cup race here? Um, I mean, I'd have to watch the race back to, to give you the, the full impression, but it seemed like it was a pretty entertaining race and a lot of, you know, different storylines going on there and um, places packed between and showed up. So, you know, from, from the inside, it looks pretty good. I don't know about from the outside. Appreciate your time. Now back to you, Greg. Christopher said down there, he said they should repay the rest of the track. Very soon, do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, at least the rest of the corner. I don't know if they need to repave the straightaways. Um, and it's fine if they want to do that, but yeah, I would maybe just do the rest of the corner to the wall. Uh, maybe the exit it all in the same spot, because it kind of gets kind of funky and wonky. Um, doesn't really make much sense the way they did it, but the good thing is it, it didn't seem to affect the race a whole bunch. Can you put that more options out there? You know, that's one problem. This race reminded me a lot of a, a race at an intermediate track. Is that a correct assessment? Or? This track's a, it's a, a little bit in betweener. Uh -huh. You know, it, you kind of drive it a bit like a mile and a half, but it's a short track. Kind of, kind of like a Nashville. Did you have to work to manage your tires at all without without scrubbing them off? Too Not, much? A bunch. Not a whole bunch. Nah, there wasn't much tire fall off. Uh, what everyone was concerned about was blowing right front, but it's not from tire wear. Sure. It's by the shoulders blowing out from the aggressive settings of the car. Sure. We go to a different venue, LA Clash and or the Clash at the Coliseum, Gateway. You're really good at those type tracks. Good run here. What is it about new venues that you seem to be too well at? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we weren't that great today. Um, we were okay, but we weren't the uh, you know lights out fast. So, um, you know, all you can ask when you're, you know, if you get that close to front row on the final restart, that's, that's decent, but uh, this wasn't fast enough to stay there. Steven Stump of FrontStretch.com here. Come back for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.